it's inevitable. We all dine out or do takeout or something once in a while. The question is, what kind of meal is it and how do you handle it? That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about dining out and the different kind of meals there are. Long time ago, my um, coat, Weight Watcher coach, meeting leader, whatever you call them these days, talked about eating out and celebratory meals versus replacement meals. And I've touched on that a couple times on my channel. Um, I was speaking with a subscriber the other day and she said, you know, I think it would be good to revisit that. So I said, heck, why not revisit it? Especially since today I am dining out. So we all dine out. I mean, most of us, maybe not everyone, but the majority of us dine out once in a while or get takeout. Meals outside the home fall into two main categories. They fall into celebratory meals and replacement meals. And the first key to your success in navigating a restaurant menu is figuring out what kind of meal you are having. Now, what is the difference? The difference is pretty, you know, a celebratory meal is going to be a meal where you are celebrating your birthday, your anniversary, your child's graduation, something like that. It is a meal that you are going out that is not a normal meal. You are going out for a celebration. You are going out to have a good time and celebrate an accomplishment or celebrate a milestone. And those meals are a little bit different than replacement meals. What is a replacement meal? A replacement meal is that diner meal, that restaurant meal, that takeout meal that you have that is merely replacing a meal that you would have made at home. Maybe you got really, really busy during the day and forgot to take out your dinner to thaw. Maybe you lost your electricity and you could not cook anything. Maybe you were out shopping and time got away from you and you just decided, you know what, let's just stop and get dinner on the way home. Something like that is a replacement meal. It's not a celebration. You're not celebrating the fact that you went shopping. You're not celebrating the fact that the electric went out. You're just replacing that meal that you would have made at home. So now what is the big difference between these two meals? For me, a celebration, celebratory meal is going to be a little bit more indulgent, a little bit bigger because it's not something that we do all the time. And this comes into play perfectly because tonight I am going out for a celebration meal. Our anniversary is tomorrow, but we are celebrating it tonight just because of logistics. Um, and it is a celebratory meal. Will I be careful? I will. I will watch my portions. I will not let it dictate like, oh, I'm not going to order that because it's a cream sauce or I'm not going to order that because that cut of meat is not really a lean protein. It's a little fattier. That I don't do but I will limit portions. The restaurant we are going to is known for its massive portions. Like I'm talking, they don't use dinner plates. They use serving platters to serve you your dinner. So it's crazy. No one needs that amount of food. So I will order what I want, but the minute that that dinner comes, I will ask for a takeout box and probably two thirds of it will go into that takeout box. What's left on my plate, I will eat, I will enjoy, and I will feel no guilt. Will we get an appetizer? We may, because that is another thing that is a celebration. Because we do not get appetizers for replacement meals because I'm not doing that at home. I am not making a three or four course meal every night for dinner at home. We do not have an appetizer course, a salad course, a main course, and then a dessert. We don't. So I'm not gonna do that in a restaurant for a replacement meal, but as a celebratory meal, maybe we will split, we'll split an appetizer. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you right now, I'm getting dessert. More than likely, Doug and I will split a dessert. We will not eat the whole thing. 
each, you know, we each won't get our whole thing. We will definitely split our dessert. So that is my feeling of a replacement. So having those extras, having an appetizer, having dessert, that to me is a celebratory meal. A replacement meal, like I said, unless you are doing that at home every night, don't do it when you go out for a replacement meal. Study the menu. Find something that is a little bit lower in point. Have the fish, have the salmon, have the chicken breast. Don't have the appetizer, don't have the dessert. You're just replacing a meal. You're not turning it into a celebration. It is not a celebration because you forgot to thaw something. I know, I know, I'm hard about that. I know that, I know I am, you know, tough love. And you know that's how I am though. But you need to stop and think that every time you order out or you go out cannot be a celebration. That is where we run into trouble. I know that we, we had, we now just started going back into restaurants, you know, but we did a lot of takeout. Um, we try to do takeout twice a month as replacement meals, just to give me a break. I mean, you know, I pretty much cook everything from scratch, everything. So it is nice to have a break once in a while and not worry about that and just order out. But when we order out for those replacement meals, I am not ordering the cheesesteak stromboli. I am not ordering the extra meat lovers pizza. If we decide to get a pizza, it's usually a white pizza or a plain pizza and I eat a piece. I don't eat three pieces. Chinese food is a big one for us. We, we have an amazing Chinese restaurant near us and we love it, but I am not ordering something that is deep fried or something that is, um, you know, crazy high in points. I have some standards. Usually it's beef with broccoli. I know exactly how many points it is. I can fit it in perfectly. It's a replacement meal. Now, if we were going out to a Chinese restaurant tonight for our anniversary, I would probably order something a little bit different because it would be a celebratory meal. So that is the difference, my friends. That is how we need to think when we are going out for a meal. We need to truly ask, ask ourselves if it is a celebration meal or if it is a replacement meal. As you can tell, I was trying to finish this before the babies came and that didn't happen. I was hoping to finish the last few minutes with them running around because we're still waiting for the others to get here. But you know, real life around here. I got one sitting here on my knee trying so hard to get his little face on the camera. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you today because it is something I think that a lot of us do think about, a lot of us do struggle with. And it's really easy that, especially if, if you're like us, and I mean, we, we probably go out to dinner more than most people. We Twice a month is what we do. But there's some people that don't go out ever or only go out once or twice a year. You just, depending on how many times you go out and how many times you order out, you have to ask yourself those questions. Is this a celebration or is this a replacement? And not every celebration needs to be a celebration. If you're going out for your sister's birthday or your cousin's birthday, it's their celebration. And yes, you are celebrating them, but it's not your celebration. So maybe have a bite or two of the shared appetizers, but that's it really look at the menu and order something that is not quite as indulgent because it is not your personal celebration. It is someone else's. You are there to support them and to celebrate with them, but you don't have to go off the rails because it's not celebrating you. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope I've explained this well and I probably could have explained it a little bit better if I didn't have all these babies running around at my feet. So anyway, my friends, that is it. Celebration meal versus replacement meal. Figure out which one it is and figure it out honestly. Ask yourself the tough questions and decide which it is. And you do what is right for you to stay on track and to make yourself successful. 
So thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you know someone that could use this video, please feel free to share it with them. Maybe they're struggling with dining out. So thank you so much again, and I will talk to you all in my next video.